want to turn our focus now to a story it is gripping the nation today the alleged new york city subway shooter made his first appearance in court he was denied bail frank james was arranged on a terror charge which could send the 62 year old to prison for the rest of his life correspondent tom negevin live at the federal courthouse in brooklyn and tom did james say anything to the judge not a whole lot today, Nicole. The whole hearing over in about eight or ten minutes. Asked if he understood his rights, the charges against him. He answered yes to both. He did not enter a plea. Sitting quietly in federal court, 62-year-old Frank Robert James' attorney did his talking outside. What happened in the New York City subway system on Tuesday was a tragedy. It is a blessing that it was not worse. We are all still learning about what happened on that train, and we caution against a rush to judgment. There's also a small mountain of evidence produced during the 30 hours the alleged gunman was at large in New York. Photos entering and leaving the subway, surveillance video, a construction vest described by witnesses, prosecutors telling the judge the defendant terrifyingly opened fire on passengers on a crowded subway train, interrupting their morning commute in a way the city hasn't seen in more than 20 years. The defendant's attack was premeditated, was carefully planned and it caused terror among the victims and our entire city. <laughs> That terror captured on video by witnesses. 29 injured, 10 shot after James allegedly popped smoke canisters in the Brooklyn subway and randomly opened fire. The next day, calling Crime Stoppers on himself, arrested without incident in Manhattan's East Village. We were able to shrink his world quickly. There was nowhere left for him to run. Prosecutors also filing a letter to the court asking that James be permanently detained pending trial, saying the defendant poses a severe and ongoing risk to the community, which necessitates detention. A much different account already coming from the defense. What we do know is this. Yesterday, Mr. James saw his photograph on the news. He called Crime Stoppers to help. He told them where he was. Initial press and police reports in cases like this one are often inaccurate. Interesting take on events. There's still no indication of a motive here, Nicole. Uh, James is being charged under a federal statute prohibiting terrorist or violent attacks on mass transit systems. This time, of course, we're talking about the nation's largest and busiest. The feds also will charge him with crossing state lines. Nicole? All right, Tom Negevin, thank you for that. Well, we do want to dig deeper into that charge, the only one James has been given so far. And again, right now, the 62-year-old charged with a federal terrorism offense. Correspondent Evan Lambert is live to help us understand the specific count. Evan, is this rare? Nicole, a former federal prosecutor telling us that this charge is not often used. He also says he wouldn't be surprised if more charges are coming. This federal crime of terrorism seems to fit the facts and circumstances of the alleged conduct, you know, quite neatly. Former New York federal prosecutor Seth Ducharme telling News Nation that the charge against suspected subway shooter Frank James fits the alleged crime. Prosecutors using a little known federal statute specifically tailored for terrorist attacks and other violence against mass transportation systems. Ducharme says, unlike some terrorism charges linked to international organizations, the government government doesn't have to prove James was linked to any specific group. In charging documents, they set up an argument that his alleged attack was politically based. The complaint citing his rambling grievances in YouTube videos before the attack, specifically addressed to New York Mayor Eric Adams and conditions on the subway, saying, quote, every car I went to was loaded with homeless people. It was so bad I couldn't even stand, end quote. I think what the government is trying to to, to do, and it would make sense, is to say that the violence was tied to a political agenda that the defendant is alleged to have expressed. In 2012, a naturalized U.S. citizen and Al-Qaeda operative and his associates who planned a bombing attack on the New York subway were convicted of several terrorism charges after their plot was foiled. If it had been successful, they likely would have faced the same charge James faces now. They came out very strong with these charges, so I think that signals that the government has quite a lot of confidence in the case. Uh, including their ability to, you know, to meet their burden at trial, notwithstanding, you know, a vigorous defense. 
And to give you another example, in 2020, there were two people in the Seattle area that were accused of putting devices on railroad tracks that, among other things, could derail a train. They were charged under this same statute. Nicole? All right, Evan, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.